I'll be showing how to integrate Microsoft Teams meeting links directly into Gmail in the Google Calendar. This is a brand new add-in that just came out for Teams and it's in the G Suite Marketplace. With this add-in, you can integrate into Gmail, or if you're an educator, you can even generate links for Google Classroom. So let's get started. Now to start off, I'm here in the Google Workspace Marketplace. This is formerly known as the G Suite Marketplace, and I have the Microsoft Teams meeting add-in pulled up. We're gonna install that so it works right with our Gmail. I've put a link in the description below so you can get the direct link. I've also put a little shortcut URL right here in the video. So I'm gonna click install, gives me a little prompt, and it's gonna ask for my permission to install this Teams add-in for G Suite. I'll hit continue. I've chosen my Gmail account and I'll click allow to allow access. Okay, it's been installed and it tells me that it's gonna be right there in my calendar and I'll show exactly how we can add this to a meeting. So I'll click done. Now I'm gonna switch over to my Gmail account and I'll go to my inbox. So I'm signed into Gmail, and what I wanna do is go to my calendar and create a new meeting. So I'm gonna go into the little app launcher here in the upper right, we'll scroll down and find the calendar. So I'm here in my Google Calendar. Now on the right-hand side, you're gonna see this little Teams icon has been added. Now I'm gonna click this so I can sign myself into my account first. So click here, and it's gonna ask me to log in. So I'll click log in. I'm gonna authorize and choose my account. Selected my account. Now I'm fully signed in. And you can see it has other meetings that I might have already had in here. This was a meeting I set up earlier with Teams, so it's almost like I can see all my little Teams meetings right here. On the dot, dot, dot menu, there's a couple of choices if you wanna log out or manage the add-on or go to the blog and more information, that's all there. So let's close this. Now we're gonna go create an actual meeting and send it out. So in the upper left of my Google Calendar, I'll click Create. We'll give it a title. We'll leave it at this time, 1.30 to 2.30. I'm gonna add my guests, so I'll paste in a couple of attendees. There we go. Now the key part is Add Video Conferencing, and you're gonna drop this down. Now I've got a new choice, Microsoft Teams Meeting. And honestly, I like Teams a lot better than Google Meet, so I'm gonna choose this one. And what's great is it adds those meeting details immediately. So the meeting ID, the phone call, even meeting options. So if I wanna click meeting options and go and change some of these, just like I could go do in Teams, and by the way, if you want a video on how to change meeting options, I have a separate one in the upper right, you can check that out. But if I click meeting options, it'll take me right there. Here I am on my meeting options page, so I can set who can bypass the lobby, I can do things about who can present, allowing attendees to unmute, and all the great meeting options that you have in Teams. So that's accessible right through that meeting options dialog here. Okay, I'll add a location. This is gonna be in Teams, nice and easy. And there's other options you can set in a calendar item in Google, but I'm not gonna go into that right now. And I'm gonna hit save. Would I like to send an email to Google Calendar guests? Yep, I'll hit send. And there, I just sent that meeting off. It's right here in my calendar. And now when I'm ready to open that up as the organizer, I just open this up and I have all the information, join the Teams meeting, I have the call and the meeting options. And if I go over to the right-hand side here and I click the little Teams icon, you'll see now both meetings are right here. So it's really nice. Any Teams meeting will be lined up on the right-hand side and I can just click join to join directly. But what I'll be doing now is I'm gonna switch over and show what it looks like from the attendee side to receive that Teams meeting from the Gmail account and then join the Teams meeting. Here I am signed in as a different person. This is Alex, and I'm gonna to go to my Outlook mail. Oh, and there is a meeting from Mike Tholfson. He's inviting me. He sent it from his Gmail account, and I'll accept this. Great. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to my calendar, and we'll see what that meeting looks like. Okay, here's my calendar, and it looks like there's a sync up meeting at 1.30. Let's open that. I'll scroll down, and even though this came from Gmail, you can see there's a Teams meeting link. Now oh, there's a great meeting link, I can join by phone. So I'm gonna click this. Okay, I'll click join now. And there we are, I'm an attendee. I can't share content or facilitate. Now because of the person who set up the meeting, which was the organizer, Mike, he didn't make people wait in the lobby, so this person can join and hang out and wait. But all of the same things apply where you can control who joins the meeting, who can bypass the lobby. If you found this video useful, give it a like.
Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.